did not exist. Four centuries of work, bloodshed, loneliness, and fear created this land. We built America, and the process made us Americans. A new breed, rooted in all races, stained and tinted with all colors, a singing ethnic anarchy. Then, in a little time, we became more alike than we were different. A new society, not great, but fitted by our very thoughts for greatness. Uh, excuse me, Mr. Twain. What's that? Perhaps you recognize those inspiring words from one of America's great writers. Uh, no, Dr. Franklin, I don't recall writing anything like that. Oh, my, of course not. They're from the pen of John Steinbeck. Back in the 20th century. Why, it seems he has nearly the same spirit as the founding fathers themselves. Well, listen to the proud elder statesman. Mr. Twain, pride is one of our national passions. Even those who overcome it are proud of their humility. Easy now. I was born honest. Fortunately, or off. Uh, Dr. Franklin is our genuine American antique. I suppose our story begins with you. Actually, it started long before even my time. It started when dreams and visions of a new world were shrouded in the myths and legends of an old world. Finally, through those early mists of uncertainty, sailed the first great adventurers. This tiny ship is the Mayflower, carrying pilgrims in search of their dream, a dream of religious freedom. So, if you pardon an old man's pride, for me, this is the beginning of the American adventure.
Finally, the time had come to speak with one voice in a declaration of independence. Ah, good evening, Mr. Jefferson. Have you finished the new draft yet? Those are new drafts all over the floor, Dr. Franklin. It seems one stroke of this pen brings two changes from Congress. I told you John Adams should have written this. Oh, by his own admission, you can write circles around him. Mr. Adams has not been prisoner in this loft for 17 days. I shall continue tomorrow. You must continue now. Thomas, it is difficult to make 13 clocks chime at the same time. But we must carefully justify the separation. And Dr. Franklin, while you slept soundly through the meeting this afternoon, we did manage to justify the separation. We hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by their creator with certain inalienable rights, that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. And to secure these rights, no one
troublemakers like Douglas got us into this mess. We only wanted freedom, not war. Well, listen to my abolitionist brother. What? Pa, he's going to make a real good Philly Yank. We got a good cause, Johnny Dredd. Why, both of you, you're going to ruin Ma's birthday. No, no. Ain't nothing going to ruin today. We're all together. That's what counts. Now, you go ahead, Mr. Brady. All right, everybody. Oh, real still now. Two brothers on their way. Two brothers on their way. Two brothers on their way. One more blue and one more gray. One more blue and one more gray as they marched along the way. The fife and drum began to play. All on a beautiful morning. One was gentle, one was kind. One was gentle, one was kind. One came home, one stayed behind. A cannonball, don't be no Don't think of the folks behind, all on a beautiful 